all my gamers, all my gotcha gamers. So I wanted to pull up this tweet by EO. Now, this is not what you think it's going to be. This is not to, <laughs> it's not going to end with me talking about them, shitting on them, anything like that. This is not, nothing to do with that. It's more of a springboard to something I wanted to talk about personally. And I've just not made that video yet. And I was like, oh, this seems like a perfect opportunity. Well, he says, I feel like there are too many gacha games to keep up with now, which is a fair point. There's nothing wrong with that. As a content creator, ideally you want to main one game. Man, as someone who used to main League of Legends, no. <laughs> That's an awful idea. I, I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. Everyone has their own way of making their own content and has their own path and their own way in which they're going to grow. I just personally don't like the one main game. What do you call it? The one main game idea just because I had to play League of Legends all the time. It was awful. That now I hate League. I completely quit it. But that's neither here nor there. Don't worry about that. Sparking Zero, however, that's coming out. Anyways, you know, he lists examples of games like Genshin, Wuwa, ZZ, NTE, and all this other stuff. And he talks about, I know that 95% of my peers have employees that keep their account up to date, which I don't. I, <laughs> I still play all these games with myself. Which eliminates, eliminates them from feeling the burden most of the time. So the effect is lost. So the effect is lost. They also have editors allowing them to further reduce the hours spent developing and finishing the product. It's like FOMO. What did you call me? But not because it's actual because of the actual gotcha. The FOMO of content because all you can do is edit, release all the time, any fashion that gotcha algo wants. Now this is a fine rant. This has nothing to do with anything. It is actually what I wanted to talk about is actually the response that Fabi made. Fabi actually said, I'll be honest, I think this is an amazing problem. There are so many gotcha games to play nowadays. It's a golden gotcha. It's a golden age. I know CC should think business first, but I feel like CCs need to enjoy the games to play more than view business as a venture. And this, this tweet is what I wanted to talk about. This is something that I have thought about for a long time as someone who plays these games for fun because it's not like I make money off of this stuff. <laughs> as for right now, this is a hobby until I make money off of it. But I, I just like the... I have had this idea for a while as someone who's played Genshin Impact since day one, right? And that was my introduction into gacha games. I didn't really know what that uh, Fire Emblem Heroes or that you know, grand, fake grand order. I didn't know these were gotcha games at the time when I first downloaded them. I just downloaded them after Anime Expo. I was like, oh, this looks cool. You know, I wasn't really into mobile gaming until Genshin came out. I feel like Genshin just put everyone onto mobile gaming, or at least the mainstream, right? And because of that, it seems to have kickstarted this like rush from Chinese companies to make these gotcha games. And I know people don't like gacha games because they're predatory. They don't like this or that or the FOMO aspect or anything like that. But I do like to think that these games do have a positive side to them. I do feel like this is like the, what do you call it? The golden age of gacha games. Like when you have games like Concord or uh, Ass Assassin's Creed Shadows, games that are just flopping left and right from Western companies. I don't feel that effect myself. Why? Because I'm playing Nikkei, bro. I'm playing, you know, all the, ho the I'm playing the Hoyo catalog because there's four games there. There's probably five too. I forgot about Tales of Themis, you know. I'm playing Weathering Waves. I'm just getting onto these games and I'm streaming them the chat and I'm having a good time. Chat, I think this really is just the golden age of gacha games. And not only that, the games are just improving more and more, right? I think NTE is just going to be... I, I don't know if I should say it's the pinnacle of what's to come so far. But I think NTE really is just going to show what gacha games being released in 2024 or 2025 i don't even know when it releases what what a newly modern gacha game can do i know weathering waves was supposed to be that but i feel like it struggled a little bit in the beginning but curl games you know <laughs> they brought it together because man that release for weathering waves was not good but it also showed but it also showed us how much curl games cares because they fixed the problems 
they give us compensation. So if you take something like NTE and put it with a company like Crow Games, which I'm sure I'm pretty sure someone's gonna do, it's just gonna be like such a a good game, bro. Like at this point, I don't even care about Western games anymore. Why would I care, bro? You know what I really want to know? What's the next gotcha game gonna be like? What are the new wife is gonna be like? You know. <laughs> and I always do like these Chinese companies because unless your name is like <laughs> Genshin Impact, you're gonna get updates that are really gonna shine through, and you know it's gonna be a devs listen moment. You know. I don't know why Genshin Impact is the only game, the only section that doesn't have, you know, positive updates, which is really funny because it, it has Zelda Zone Zero and Honkai Impact, not Honkai Impact, there, Honkai Star Rail and um, Hoyoverse, and those are doing great. I I just played the new Zelda Zone Zero story. I thought it was amazing. That video is coming soon. But, you know, I just wanted to be on here and say, enjoy the games that are coming out, bro. You know, and I understand People are content creators. I myself am a content creator. I feel like I'm at a decent spot where I can say I'm a content creator. And I think just going into it with a positive mindset to be like, I'm going to enjoy this game. I, I think it's going to be good for everybody in the long run. You know, you're going to show your community that you're having a good time. Your community is going to have a good time and they have fun. We all have fun. We all have a great time. We all make these videos and, and you know we repair what we lost chat you know i wasn't there for the great <laughs> the great gotcha civil war but i think we're picking up the pieces and we're getting where we need to be chat that's all i really wanted to say when i got on here today but i just wanted to let you guys know to enjoy your games enjoy each other enjoy the company comment like and subscribe and i will catch you gamers in the next one Bye. Bye.